Welcome back. Now we're going to start working with blade and we're going to see how some of these blade directives are applied while creating the front end layout. But first is to download and install that template because we're going to use the template to create the front end layout. So we have this template called laravel.app. So you have to download, it's already uploaded. It's a zip file and you can download and then unzip it. And once you download, open this file called index on your browser. So we're going to use the index file as our homepage. If you scroll down, you'll see it has some content. The next step is to copy the, the assets folder to the public directory. The assets folder contain the CSS, fonts, and JavaScript. So that is copy. And you're going to paste it on this file, on this public directory. So I'm going to navigate to that directory and then public, right click, paste. And now as you can see, we have that assets because now this application will be depending on this assets folder, some of these elements to render the front end layout. The next step is to go back to that index file and then right click, click on page source. And then select all this code, copy, and then inside the resources views folder, we're going to create a new directory. And I'm going to call it quotes. Then inside that quotes directory, I'm going to create a new blade file. And I'm calling to call it index.blade.php. Now paste that code there on that blade file and save. Now we need to tell Laravel that we want to display this index view as our homepage. Remember, we have already defined that welcome as our homepage. So if you look at this controller class, you'll see it is it will return a view called welcome as our homepage. So what we'll do is we'll create a new controller class. So run PHP artisan make controller. And then it's good practice to always give a controller a name that describes what that controller will be dealing with. So I'm going to call it quote controller. Remember also to follow that naming convention. It must be capitalized and in singular. So we have that controller created successfully. There it is, controller, good controller. Now here I'm going to create a method. So this one is get the quote homepage page view and then I'm going to create that method I'm going to call it index and then return that view which is quotes dot index Save. Now let's go to the routes file and define that. Route for the quotes homepage. That is a comment and then routes. So basically what I'll do is I'll duplicate this and then put it there. Then change this class to quote, quote controller, and then map it to that index method. So this one will be you can put it here like that. Now we need to comment the first one, the welcome view via route, and save. Now we can go to the browser and see whether to be able to get 
our index view which is inside the quotes directory so let's go to the browser and i'm going to refresh this view because it is a home page or the root url and as you can see it can it was able to get this view the next thing to do is on the index file or the index view we need to use the asset helper function so that it can be able to render the full path to the css files so i'm going to select all this and then use the asset helper function to this css path and javascript path also do the same for the images if it's not rendering properly and then like that let's do the same for the javascript at the bottom asset So do the same also for the images wherever they are but we don't have these images on this template so let's see whether it be able to refresh and as you can see still intact now in the next lecture we'll try to see how we can create those spatials and layouts so that we can be able to extend or use it in another view so that one we'll do it in the next lecture